Since Apostle Chibuzo Chinyiri accepted the crown to be the king of Ohanku kingdom, the man of God has in a bid to touch lives throttled the globe in search of investors. This explains the reason for his visit to Suriname in the Caribbean island where he met with the president of that country, His Excellency Chandri Kapasad Santoki and some members of his Federal Executive Council. Ohanku in Abia state is rich in rubber plantation and effort to process these natural resources in large quantities for the benefit of the people is paramount on the mind of Apostle Chibuza Chinyiri. Apostle Chinyiri explained that he is desirous to making the needs of the people in the face of glaring economic hardship so that, apart from praying for divine intervention, efforts should be geared towards alleviating poverty through the establishment of industries where the jobless can eke a living. The king appreciated the president of Suriname and other countries for accepting to invest in Nigeria and promised a conducive business environment for it to thrive. Responding, the business partners had promised to pool their resources for the investment opportunities, stressing that Max and Tires will set up a factory in Ohanko for the production of tires. Other countries visited include Holland and Taiwan. Congratulations. 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 Also, Dr. Chibuza Gift Chiri was born on Monday, 22nd October 1973, to the family of late Pa Obadiah and Madam Mercy Wakaego Chiri of Upokri Autonomous Community in Ohanku Ndoki in Ukwa East local government area of Abia State, Nigeria. Is it not right? We're doing it. There's no Ome huwa ma akuko. Ome huwa ma inye. Ana kwa yugo. Yana wanti ane kukwa kwa yudu uwa. His parents were Jehovah Witness faithful. At the infant age of three months, the power of God began to manifest in the life of Apostle Dr. Chibu Zachinyere as he unexpectedly survived fall from a two-story building by his uncle. OPM, they are my neighbor. When I pack in there, OPM was very small. And the father and the mother, they are a witness. So that opium passed many things. To the extent, the uncle ran from this upstairs for. Then I was a homeless man. I slept on the street. I sold empty on the church card. It is the grace. It's not because I'm a righteous man. I owe God every inch of my life. This is a bullet. This is God. May God use your head. I fell from three-story building. God preserved me. Apostle Dr. Chibuza Gift Chire attended Seabird Nursery School Port Harcourt from 1979 to 1985. In 1985, he was admitted at Government Technical College Rainbow, now Zubako, and in 1988, he wrote his Year 3 examination. In 1991, Chibuza proceeded to Yaba Technical, Lagos, after his ND first semester examination, he absconded and took to petty trading. This was to pursue his childhood dream of being a dollar man. If I remember, we are was 13 years ago. Oh God. Do you know I was a homeless man? The boy is a hustler. The boy, they say, say Antien. The boy said, go Lagos, he say, where that now, Okreka? That boy, he's a hustler. The boy, you know, they stay one place. 
But Oilo Agri goes to while others then go to school. My parents not understanding the gift that God has given to me. And me being stubborn, I was stubborn at a very young age. The youthful Chibuza turned up in a wandering tenant of Ojota Bridge in Lagos. I followed bad friends at a young age, even to the extent I have to run away from home. I went to Lagos. It is the grace. It's not because I'm a righteous man, because I was still a sinner. When I was taking drugs in Lagos, God did not remove the gift. When I was fornicating, God did not remove the gift. When I was doing all those bad, bad things in Lagos, God did not remove the gift. I owe God every inch of my life. Helpless, Chibuza attempted to jump into the Lagos Lagoon to end his life. He receded the decision because of his vision and picture of hell he saw. Thank God that he didn't jump into that lagoon. Because the good things the Almighty God is using him to do wouldn't have been there. He took up an appointment with Patovic, a contracting company with Nigeria Airport Authority, NAA, and NACO. He also worked with Harry Stevens as a protocol officer. He also worked with several other airlines, including Air France. Apostle Dr. Chibuza Gift Chiere was led to the Mountain of Fire Ministry MFM Lagos and was baptized in 1993. He spent eight years in Mountain of Fire Ministry. If God has called you, you generate your own members. I left my former church, Mountain of Fire, four years before starting OPM. And God raised members. The OPM is in America. OPM is in London. OPM is in South Africa. OPM is in Ghana. So OPM is in Abuja, Lagos, everywhere. We're spreading like tsunami. Like a star which looms to attract the attention and admiration of people, Apostle Chibuza Chinere's ministration approach is a spiritual delight to millions of people. Before you see a man of God, he will feel form. And not only feel form, he will pay money. And after, after much, much, nothing. You will not, you will not, you will not see anything. Just, just, just like that. But this man just brings and he say very, very low. You can see him face to face. You can interact with him. You can touch him. You understand? So the man is very, is, is, is a very good man. Standing is his monthly Dr. Jesus Night with Coconut, followed by weekly activities. Sunday service, 8 a.m. Tuesday deliverance services. No wonder his followers see the ministry as a gathering of pilgrims in a voyage of liberation. Is the man called by God to touch his generation. Not the first time. In just in Nigeria, all this is a person they talk truth. The offering our own, the tithe now our own. Any word we better pass good nine B. We now we go die with them. For person to send 45,000 persons to Canada. No be God go bless them. Me, I never benefit, but I know like 300 persons will benefit. If my brother benefits, and that's why I go give him, I no can give him. OP and give him. No be body that come off my body. A body that come off my body. So that God go bless him. The man is doing well. The, the, the man is a good man. God used him to work and, and to help some other people. He's a good man. Only God, will, oh, 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 only God will bless him. Before you walk out here from here to uh, Lego Boss, you will get about 100 churches. If pastor like OPM, they like five in River State, I believe life today will change. In 2008, he established the OPM Free Foundation to drive his vision of practical care and selfless service. Against this background of Christian teaching on love and humankind, his third and activities are oriented in humanitarian character. God loves all sinners, but God hates the sin in them. How many people want to give their life to Christ? Hey. Want to be born again? Yes. Or you have put hand on your chest? Thank you, Father Lord. Father Lord. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against you. And I have done so many parties against you. I have done so many parties against you. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Remove my name from the book of death. Remove my name from the book of death. And transfer it to the book of life. And transfer it to the book of life. I promise. I promise. Due to his past experience and because of his love for children, 
It breaks Apostle Chibuza's heart every time he sees parents and wards who couldn't afford giving their children basic education. That is why he introduced OPM Free Education in September 2008. There's a lot of children on the street. It pains me to see children not going to school. How do crime start? Crime start by, you see these little children, they start forming friends, pair group, one or one to two, two to three, four to five. And from there, they begin to grow up and become pickpockets. There are so many children on the street. Like I traveled to Borokri. I saw a lot of children, Borokri by waterside, Harold, Around Harrowing, I saw children on the street during school hours. I wept. I say, if we get a person like I'm two or three for this river state, I believe say no picky way go see during school hour we go carry market the worker. Opium free nursery and primary is funded by tight and offering of a member with free four uniforms, free shoes, free socks, free lunch, free school bags free exercise books, free textbooks, and other provisions. There are some parents where they have no reach to train their children, but because of that school, the school don't help many people. I was a woman. When nobody say she be Christian, but now was a, but the thing reach them to, within how many children, about eight children, for this uh, Borokiri branch, where they open for Borokiri. OPM operates free schools where children from the less privileged homes orphans and children of widows, irrespective of religious organization, tribe or background, are given quality education for free. In 2015, Apostle Chibuza Chiri sponsored pupils from OPF Free School to Paris, France on an all-expense-paid educational excursion trip. <music> scholarship scheme for deserving tertiary school st students in all the states of Nigeria and to the indigent youth of Ndoki, Ukwa East local government area of Abia State, a scholarship to study abroad. Apostle Chibuza Chiere is also currently the chairman and partner of Can Aim High School Canada which is also partnered with OPM Free Schools. So we came here to write an exam. It's a scholarship exam to study any course of your choice in Canada, sponsored by Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere. We are having a scholarship exam that is um, hosted by OPM, you know, an international scholarship, actually, to study in Canada. I know uh, Apostle Chibuzo brought education to our people. They want to educate many people that has not Go, have strength to sponsor themselves. So he is now here to help our people. He has been doing it other places. He is the first person. He is the one that introducing it here. He has not done. Nobody has done it. In 2009, Apostle Chibas Nigeria established a free computer training center at Bundu Waterfront, Port Harcourt, where thousands of youth have benefited from the training program. Me, I know remember, but I benefit from OPM just because of the computer, computer training, free training. My daughter attended there. She have a certificate from the OPM. If not money, I know if you pay. It's just because of church and godly man, kindly man, try to help the poor, the poor, poor people. At Rumoji in MOR local government area of River State, it was a free bar in 2010. And also in 2012, Obasima Ohaji Imo State experienced free bar from OPM. This reduced the perennial water problems in the communities. 
Apostle Chibuza Chiri Gift launch Operation 45,000 Children, which must be taken out of the streets and taken to school. Apostle Chibuza Gift Chiri sponsored the secondary and tertiary education of many students, including those who are Muslims. And just recently, he discovered 11-year-old mechanic and sent him to school just like many others. He gave a scholarship up to tertiary level. What and what do you know in mechanic? I, I can change shock. I can change... You can change? Shock and camber and leakage and, shock and shaft and many, many things in car. OPM Foundation cashed in on the Social Gospel Net, SGN, on the street of Port Harcourt and guarded destitute, gave them renewed hope in life, and they were clothed and offered facilities to start their own businesses. The destitute are accommodated in a free estate, fed and trained in various skills like scaffolding, oil and gas, rigging, paint making, carpentry, tailoring, HSC, computer training and marine engineering and other vocations. We have uh, over 12 skills that have been trained here, ranging from the oil well drilling, completion and uh, production. We have the industrial rigging. We have the computer science and engineering. We have the scaffolding department. We have the tailoring department or the marine engineering department, or the furniture department, the driving department, the argon welding and pipeline welding department, the health, safety, security and environment department. If you go outside to study this course, you will be paying nothing less than half a million naira. So, but we are here doing the course. You know, we are not. We don't pay anything. I have, I have learned a lot in this uh, scaffolding skin accusation that is going on. I have learned a lot of it. At least, both in the area of plumbing, I can go to any length as long as scaffolding is confined. Yeah, I'm worshiping with Gateway International Church. I was shocked when I was called that it was free, and I decided to give it a try. It's not just mind blowing. It's something that I've not seen before. Due to the high rate of maternal death in 2011, Apostle Chibuza Chinri established a free medical center in Ohankutun Doki, Ukwa, his local government area of Arbor State. The project he brought to the community by the free hospital, so many people's life has been saved. People are jubilating. Even he is the one that electrified the community. On 17th April 2019, this kind-hearted man of God, Apostle Chibuza Chinere, shocked the media and blew the minds of people by launching the first world-class hospital targeted for pregnant women so that the alarming rate of maternal mortality can be reduced. Adding to the free school, free restaurant, free skill acquisition centers, free estate, and now free hospital. hospital. Today, I dedicate this to the name of the Father. Amen. And I do Son. Amen. And I do Spirit. Amen. This hospital started on the 17th of April 2019. So we've run since then. We've registered more than 600 women for antenatal services and we've delivered um, more than 68 babies as of now with three sets of twins. We've had CS also because we run free antenatal services. So these free antenatal services include um, looking after the woman during pregnancy, looking after her during delivery, and then postnatal care, that's six weeks after delivery. So we've looked after these women till delivery. And then now mode of delivery, you can have your normal vaginal delivery and then your CS, that's operation. So we've had at least more than 20 CS and it's all been done free. And even the normal deliveries are all deliveries are all done free. See, and one of my neighbors to where I see, she get belay, she go OPM free medical she hospital. Medical she hospital. born there free. Nothing in color. They even dash her baby things where she carry con has, yeah. they celebrate. So the man is trying. The free hospital is from the offering and the tight. Of course, the rate of maternal death is unbelievable. The rate mother and child die during delivery. It's okay, how do I do this? How do I stop this? That's why I established a free specialist hospital to handle mother and child delivery. Here in OPM Free Medical, we scan all the women that present. So 
the the door is open to every antenatal woman. I came for the first day and I saw how the beauty was. I saw everything that the thing is okay to my likeness. And I say, no matter what the distance is, I was born in this hospital. Well, I'm very happy. There is a great joy in my heart for she to put to bed safely. Whether it is yes or not, it's safe, safe delivering. At least the baby is alive, she's alive. That is the joy I have. Well, we didn't pay a dime, we didn't pay any money. Even when, we were, when she came to register, people were telling her, they are only admitting their church member. I said, it's a lie. I came, I'm a witness. I came here. I saw some people that came to that is not even their member of their church. So when we came, we didn't pay any money. Everything was free. The attention, how they attend to how everything goes smoothly. So I love the way they are attending to their patients. The hospital actually meets um, international standards because when um, the hospital was to be set up, our daddy, Apostle Chibuzo, said he wanted it to be up to the, any standard internationally, a standard that anywhere in the world it will be able to hold on par. And that is what he did. He actually bought all the equipment needed to make it a standard hospital. So the hospital is up to standard, can be compared with any hospital anywhere in the world. Oh, that place is a wonderful place. That place is something else. People have not seen this kind of thing. If you get to that hospital, it is well equipped. It is run by specialists. These specialists are from all fields. Everything there is free. If you go there, the women are coming to deliver in their numbers. And by God's grace, they are having free delivery. Everything is provided from them, for them. The hospital environment is clean and neat. The equipment needed for everything is there. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist. And I can tell you that if you get there, you have the best of anything you can talk of. The women who come there, apart from having free uh, medical care, free delivery, including cesarean sections and everything, food is given to them free, clothes are given to them, even for their babies when they have delivered them, until they leave that hospital. Even when they leave the hospital, they are followed up. Children who even have issues at bed have been taken care of. Some of them that are required to be moved to anywhere are moved to the hospital, the, the church uh, hospital takes adequate care of them. You cannot compare that hospital to a lot of hospitals that we have around. It is an excellent place. It's a place that uh, we know really the hand of God is in that, in that uh, ministry. The hospital world are built in suites. It has a serene environment, a standby generator, free kitchen services, state-of-the-art equipment, brilliant ambulances and qualified health practitioners, a standard pharmacy with professional pharmacists, multiple delivery words and world-class imported equipment and so many others. This is our delivery suite in the free OPM hospital. So when the pregnant woman comes, she comes and she's in labor, this is where we admit her into. So we have our bed, we have our delivery bed. This is our delivery bed. We also have this equipment here called a resuscitor. So if we have a case where the baby delivers, we deliver a baby and the baby is maybe not breathing well or has any challenge, we resuscitate the baby here. We have our suction machine, we have our ambu bag, and we have other things, our suction. So this is what we use for delivery. Okay, this is um, the theater of uh, the free OPM specialist hospital. So this is a theater bed. So these are theater lights. These lights are used to illuminate the site where the operation will be done. A diatomy machine we use for the operation to ligate for ligation of vessels. We have our consumables. We have different kinds of suture. We have our anesthesia machine and our oxygen cylinder. We also have a ventilator. It's also a ventilator, so it can actually breathe for the patient. Religion and church denomination isn't disqualifying factor as the church is void of any form of discrimination. This hospital is for everybody. We don't care whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a pagan, a traditional worshiper. We don't care whether you're white, black, green, blue. We don't care about all that. All we do is that we attend to every pregnant woman that comes to register for antenatal. So we don't discriminate. Even the workers here, we have workers from different churches working here. 
Working in collaboration with the Nigerian police, Apostle Chibuza Shiri rehabilitated over 5,000 militants, cultists, and criminals who are now Christians and are working for Christ. I'm a member of court. I, I travel from land to sea. From today, I come here to give my life to Christ. I belong to Islam. I'm from Ogoni. So I also belong to Guru Mahalaji. Today, I give my life to Christ. In 2015, Apostle Chibuza Chire, in a mission of taking two billion souls to heaven, single-handedly sponsored 140 couples who have been cohabiting for years and ensuring that they are married. Several awards and laurels have been bestowed on Apostle Dr. Chibuza Chire. Some of these awards include honoring doctorate degree by the Freedom University of Philadelphia and the School of Ministries and Mentor Academy Texas, respectively. He, was, he has also received Excellence Award as the most philanthropic man of God in 2011. The Weekly Watch News Magazine Golden Award in 2012 by the National Association of Nigeria Association of Nigeria Student Nans. He was Outstanding River State Philanthropy in 2012 and by the Independent Monitors newspaper. He also received the award as the Global Leader of Integrity Merit Award in 2012 by the Proven Integrity Communication Network Limited and the Hope Ambassador 2015 by Inspirational Magazine. He was awarded the Pillar of Hope Meritorious Award by Ndoki Council of Chiefs. He was given Outstanding Humanitarian Award 2016 by Igbo Journalist Forum. He is the recipient of the Human Service Award 2017 by a coalition of Niger Delta journalists. He also received a Commendation Award 2017 by the National Council of Police Community Relations Committee, PCRC. He received the award as Crusader of Social Gospel 2019 by the University of Port Harcourt and many other awards. Any good thing has a way of selling itself. So Dr. Chibuzo Gift Chinere has written his name in the annals of history. Yes, of a truth, Apostle Chibuzo Gift Chinere is a blessing to this generation. May God continually bless and guide you, sir. Oh